All right, so our next topic today is going to be some more bad news for the moviegoers out there. Uh, at least anyone who was looking forward to seeing Milan possibly uh, in July. Because uh, news has came out that it, too, following Tenet's footsteps here, is being pushed back to August 21st. Um, primarily just because the theaters aren't open yet. So it can't really, you know, it's kind of hard to go see a movie if uh, all your theaters are closed. And... Rick, when it comes to getting these movies uh, out, do you think it's a you think it's a better move for them to be pushed? Uh, I know they might not have a choice with a lot of people. Like I said, a lot of these theaters just aren't even open right now. But do you think it's a like at least even realistic that a lot of these movies are even going to be coming out huh? in twenty twenty at this point? Let alone in the summer. It's just so hard to say with everything going on. I mean, you know, it seems like every day you turn on the news, things get worse. So. I, you know, to me, thinking about it, there's a probability that it could be pushed back even farther than that, you know, so. Right. I remember a time when we thought, when, not we, but like, a lot of people in the, like, the, just the entertainment community thought that, like, July was, like, the, not even optim, like, not being an optimist, just, it's going to happen in July. Yeah. Like, things will be over. Come back and, in July, you yeah. know. And, like, now getting even worse. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be the case cuz kind of going along with um you know Milan pushing this back, Los Angeles this is coming from deadline as well. They're looking at considering the citations for anybody not wearing a mask. So how, however you feel about wearing a mask, not wearing a mask at all, you should definitely wear a mask, but I'm not going to get into that by any means, but <laughs> that aside, the, the with them putting out these mandates and it's some capacity and actually like doing, you know, enforcing it from, you know, a government level like this. It's just going to make it harder for like the movie theaters and like just businesses in general to even get people to the point of like wanting to return, feeling safe to return. Right. Because like yeah. as the numbers continue to rise, which is why you should wear a mask. Definitely. Um, like more and more people aren't are like I don't, I'm not gonna be rushing out even if tenant was opening like next week. Yeah, I would be. I'd be afraid. extremely hesitant. Yeah, like even with even like even at this point now, like in the current climate, like we said, with the numbers rising, I don't know if I want to go out and like sit in a room with a bunch. A of people. room with a bunch of people closed yeah, in, even if they're enforcing masks. Yeah, it's like because. The germs, I mean. The mask can only do so much, like everyone knows. Like, yeah. Like, it's, it's, I don't need to get into, like, teaching people how masks work and everything, but, like, it, they help prevent it from you, but primarily it helps you keep, like, everyone around you safe, yeah, in, in addition to keeping you safe. Keeps your germs off of right. other people and keeps you from getting other people's germs. Yeah. And like that's that's kind of the thing, like with like a big place, like obviously Los Angeles and, and New York being probably the biggest two places for you know movies in general. Them getting to a point now where they're gonna have to be like mandating people from a government level, like I said, that's that's not gonna be like helping, you know, anyone's will to to or wantingness to get back to the theaters, in my opinion. So we could very well see a lot of these movies. Push back, even push back even farther. If well, not, like I don't even know if movies are going to come out this year at this point. If the thing is too, where we live here in Cincinnati, uh, I just heard on July 9th they're going to start mandating where you can get up to a twenty five dollar fine if you're not wearing a mask in a public space. And uh, I don't know, it's just just, just wear the mask. Just right. Wear it. Well, that's the thing, and I, <laughs> it, it is kind of a shame that somehow this like turned into a political issue. Just like I don't know, I've always felt that like. Look at it from a health well, standpoint. Well, that's what I'm saying. I've always thought that human rights and health, those aren't political issues. They're like, if people are making, there's, there's, there's a, there's a, why people say there's a difference between right and wrong, right? Yeah. Like, human rights is not political. Like, health and safety is not political. No. We make it political because people are fucking ignorant. Like, yeah. No offense. <laughs> I'm not like calling any particular person or party out because every, I've, I know people on both sides of any camp and upside down and at the bottom who say stupid shit. Like, it's oh, not yeah, just yeah. one side that's stupid. Yeah. Trust me, it's not. Like, but I don't know. Like, things like that. Like, is that what, what really, honestly, with the mass stuff that bothers me is like prior to it being a, 
you know, not law, but like government mandated to some capacity where they're going to start like giving you citations, for instance, right? I've always considered like, if you don't want to wear a mask, then fine. But you can't like all these, there's all these videos of people like getting like shitty and physical with people who like a store owner who is requiring masks and like the person's not wearing a mask and they get all shitty and they freak out and like get, you know, physical with this person because they're requiring, you know, their, their patrons to wear a mask. And it's like, if you don't want to wear a mask, that's you, that's on you, but they don't have to serve you then. Like that's on them. That's their like, right to do that. Yeah, like don't it's it, it's on just as just like it's on you and it's you're perfectly cool at least if your government isn't forcing it upon you in like these situations if you can choose not to wear a mask and someone can choose not to serve you. Yeah. And like I mean it's just the bottom line. Like is that that's the thing that always gets me with a bunch of people who are saying <laughs> it, it, it just makes me laugh cuz it's like it's just completely untrue. Um like how it's like infringing on your rights and your freedom and stuff. And it's like, yeah. it's not because like you, you, you can just not wear the mask and then not go to Starbucks. Exactly. It's like, that's it. Like if you don't want to wear the mask and you can't go to Starbucks, like that's it. Like you can go somewhere else or you can just put on the mask for five minutes, go get your fucking Starbucks and then stop bothering everybody. Yeah. Stop that's making it. an issue. Just like be a good, decent person. I know. And then like the other thing are like people with like the fake, uh, the fake cards that say like, you like, health problem, health exemption, like, from wearing the mask, like, blah, blah, like, I can't breathe with the mask on. The doctor who delivered your dumb ass spent probably eight hours wearing the very same fucking mask. Yeah. So you can't wear a mask for 20 minutes into a store? Like, people you, do anything just to start logic flaws there, man. It just, it just bothers uh, me. Yeah, it's... it's not to get into the because I don't care about the I don't care if you don't want to wear a mask. That's perfectly fine. Like, ain't bothering me none. Like, you should wear one if you're going out in public, though. Yeah, that's yeah. the only thing. Like, that's the thing. I feel like no one wants to level with people and just say like, no one wants to wear the mask, guys. Like, everyone knows they're uncomfortable. Everyone knows like I I gotta wear I wear glasses, so when I wear the mask, I, it makes my shit fog up half the time. Every time, like I gotta like make sure I'm breathing, like kind of pointing it down, like. My it's job, a first world fucking problem, though. Who cares? My job literally won't let you in the building unless you're wearing a mask. We can get written up for not having our mask on. Like, yeah, unless I don't look at it as I'm being oppressed. I look at it as like I'm helping myself and other people because that's the right thing to do. And, uh, exactly. It's, like it's, not, it's, it's not hurting anybody. Putting on the mask isn't actually hurting anybody. But you not wearing a mask has a potential to hurt you and others. Putting on the mask. There's literally... I mean, there's just there's, there's too many facts to support. Like it's it's, it's like it, it's you don't even need to look at research to understand that. Just put the mask on and like try breathing through it. If if you're people are complaining they're having trouble breathing with it on, it's working. That's the point. Yeah, imagine like, how much trouble you'd have breathing point. if you didn't have it on and contracted it. Well, no, like the like you know what I'm saying though. It's like if you put the mask on and it's giving you issues breathing then you know the mask is doing its job of you not spreading your fucking germs everywhere, right? Yep. I mean, it's like you, it's like they don't realize they like kind of prove their own like kind of points wrong, like yeah. in some capacity, because it's like, it's kind of the goal. Like, we, oh, it's not going to smother you. Like, no one's trying to kill you with the mask. It's, it's not, not going to impair your breathing that way. Yeah, like, it's like, it's just there to limit shit. And this is completely off topic, but it is kind of on topic just because, like I said, Los Angeles here is looking at literally giving people citations in Cincinnati here. They literally already are going to be giving people citations on July 9th. If you're wearing, if you're not wearing a mask in public, I think it's in the city of Cincinnati. Yeah. Like in, in the city limits, but like point being as it affects the movies is like, it just affects the theaters and them opening in general. Right. Cause like, it's like in any science, small business really cause like less and less people are going to feel comfortable going back out. Like, especially if you don't feel com less comfortable than I don't know, you kind of got other problems, really. Like, yeah. I feel like it, you should have some level of discomfort, like at, at some degree, like because I mean it's 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 not fake news for one, like it's real stuff. So I don't know, because I don't know about you, and I always think about it too. Just as someone who has kids, like you may not care about you getting it, and you might think you're going to be fine, which like you may be, but you may not be too. But yeah. in the end, like, do you want to get a kid sick? 
like just because you didn't want to wear it, even if it's not your kid, it just helps if you have your own kids. My so parents really, no. have, even my parents have like COPD and immune disorders and that sort of stuff, and I do it for them. You know, right. that's the thing. And it, it's not even the I don't know. It just bo- it, it bothers it, me because it's, it's such a non-issue that somehow is some huge political issue. Yeah, and exactly. it's like it's not. It's a non-issue. No one should even be talking about. it. Think of it from a scientific healthcare standpoint, it, not it, your government. Exactly, and it blows my mind too because like there's um. Uh, like in South Korea, they always wear. Them. Yeah, like yeah. pre-COVID, they just wear them. Yeah. Like in, ja- in Japan, it's, they wear them all the China, time. Yeah. In China, like it's not like, dude, they just wear them because like they know people get sick a lot. Yeah. Like it just is. They have very very dense populated areas, so they they want to wear the mask for protection. I mean, exactly. it just is what it is. It's protecting you and it's protecting others. It's not. It just blows my mind, man. But anyway, yeah, so Milan's getting pushed back. <laughs> um, back to the subject. Yeah, so Milan and Tenet are coming out on the 20, uh, supposedly on August 21st. We'll see. That was our, that was our mask PSA, guys. So that's, that's the only one. Wear you get. mask. Yeah, so do that. And uh, how did you actually feel about the Milan trailer, though? Did you, you think? It was- I saw it. Uh, it. It looks good. It looks intense. You know, it's a kind of weird disney's doing all this stuff nowadays where they've got like literal live action versions of a lot of their classic movies and um it's an interesting movie to do in live action i think it'll be good i was never a huge mulan fan but the trailer looked decent the trailer looked pretty good i wish like there's things in it it's kind of the thing that like we were talking about with the ninja turtles and them being like realistic and like how it's like they're giant turtles, dude. They're giant talking, walking turtles. Like we, yeah. they don't need. Like we get it. Like they don't. I don't need them to be like photo real. Like they're they're not real. Yeah. But like they they changed the uh, the dragon in Mulan. I forget his name, but Eddie Murphy played him in, in the. Anime. Yeah, he did the voice. But they they replaced the dragon in like this live action movie with a phoenix instead, which it was just. I'm just sitting. It kind of bothered me because. Even when you watch the trailer, you see some like, like the bad guy, sorcerer, witch person, like doing some like crazy, ma- like doing some magical stuff, right? Some some not real looking thing. So I don't know why like a talking dragon is like would be out of the question. Yeah, yeah. Like what? Like a phoenix is any more realistic? Ex- yeah, exactly. And it's like, but it's a phoenix. And I get it. Maybe not doing like Eddie Murphy cracking jokes as a talking dragon. That might not work. <laughs> Like kind of like we were talking about before, like some things in an adaptation won't work, yeah. but it could have still just been a, a tiny little dragon who doesn't talk. Maybe they just wanted to completely avoid it because I feel like if they had the could dragon, have been a freaking lizard. Like, well, if they have the dragon though, and it doesn't, it's not Eddie Murphy or it's not someone cracking jokes like it did in the com- in the comic, but in the cartoon, I feel like you get a whole group of people who are just hating on the movie because they changed the dragon. Yeah. So maybe it probably was just something they were like, you know what? Let's just not do the dragon, and we'll just do a phoenix instead. Screw the like, dragon. Whatever. Like, cause that way, it's like you can only get mad about it not being there, as opposed to changing it, right? Yeah. I guess that's the only way I could really put any sort of logic to it. But I don't know. But anyway, what do you guys think? Like, do you think it's a good idea? Um, well, actually, not a good idea. Do you think that the masks? Um, kind of being mandated in a lot of places now are going to affect moviegoers even more now. Like, just the fact that they have to wear a mask and the numbers are now rising, do you think that's going to affect, even if these movies do open on August 21st, like, how realistic is it that they're actually going to have any sort of attendance that would actually kind of make it even worth the the studios to even put these movies out? Because, like, I didn't really say it, but, like, if they're limiting people going to the, the theater anyway, and like, let's say you can only have in a hundred person theater, let's say at most 50% of people with the numbers still rising. And now everyone having to wear a mask, like how realistic do you think it's really going to be that you're going to get those full 50% numbers actually going in there? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I don't know. So just let me know down in the comment section below. If you, if it, let me know if you're even going to go, if this opened on August 21st, if this intent were there, would you go? Or would you be like, nah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Let me know in the comment section below.